Where are you from? I am from Australia. What was your first break? My first break, like role-wise? Um, I guess it was it was a, a series called Drama World um, that I shot in South Korea, which then led to a bunch of other stuff. And now I guess my biggest break is probably Santa Clarita Diet. What have you been in? Um, Drama World, Santa Clarita Diet, Before I Fall, a um, bunch of plays when I was a teenager, and some things coming up. How do you feel about this career? I, 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 it's all I ever wanted to do, so I, I'm very grateful that I get to do it, and it excites me every day. How did you decide to become an actor? I, I mean, I never wanted to do anything else. So, it, in a way, it really took the pressure to decide anything off my shoulders. I, I never had anything to fall back on. How would you describe your specialty or type? I don't know. Kind of like... Deadpan Bohemian. <laughs> who is your favorite actor who you look up to? Kate Blanchett. What would your ideal job be? Ideal job. I would love to play Peter Pan or Joan of Arc one day. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yes. What advantages do you have? Um, I was always surrounded by very supportive people, um, and I, I've been lucky to know uh, great mentors in my life and friends and family who have empowered me to do what I want. And Without that, I wouldn't be able to achieve what I have. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Well, I don't know how to drive, so uh, I wouldn't know what to do with a car, so I guess a diploma. What do you think about the need for instant gratification? I mean, it, you need instant gratification sometimes, but it's important to keep a balance and keep the bigger picture in mind. How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Um, I, I love it, personally. Uh, it's, it's enabled me to work in a way that wouldn't have been available to me um, even five years ago, and uh, I love that I have friends all over the globe who I can talk to whenever I want, and I think that's, that's a beautiful gift, but what matters is how we use it. What does the future look like to you? Exciting. How do you feel about having children? I don't plan on it, but um, I, I would love to have children in my life, whether that's um, you know, a friend's children or like siblings' children. I, I don't know that I'd want to raise my own, but I love spending time with kids. What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Um, well, a few. <laughs> I, 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 think we're, I think we're collectively figuring out what our responsibility to each other is um, and how we can serve that. And in, instead of focusing um, the changes we would like to see inward, we're starting to realize it's important to empathize with and help each other. What are you most grateful for? Um, I'm most grateful for the opportunities I've been given, and I am grateful for the people in my life who I love and who love me, who empower me to go after them. What is your favorite way to communicate? Talking. Over the phone. I actually love talking over the phone now and in person, rather than texting. What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Um, oof. I write, I read a lot. So I, I recently finished Margaret Atwood's latest book, and right now um, I just finished rereading um, Human Acts by Han Kang, so that's what I've been reading. So those are my favorites. I think my favorite book of all time is, re is really hard to say. Um, my favorite film is uh, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. I could watch that forever. I don't know what something about it is really, really awesome. Um, and lately I've been listening to um, Lord's new stuff and a lot of Vic Cave.